Okay, so now we're going to do all of the trauma positions for the skull. What we're going to first start with is let's do the trauma for the towns. So in this situation, envision that Libby's wearing a C collar. So I'm not able to manipulate her head at all. I can't have her flex or extend in order to make her OML perpendicular to the IR. So what I have to do is find out what her OML is and then I want to add 30 degrees to that to give us our town's projection when our patient is in a trauma view. So I'm going to use the black numbers on my angle liner, put the most proximal portion over the EAM, and then move my angle liner to line up with OML. So when Libby is just resting, I have 10 degrees caudal. So what I have to do is add 30 degrees to that. So what I end up with is a 40 degree caudal tube tilt to do our trauma towns. So I'll go ahead and put a 40 degree caudal tube tilt on my tube. Yes, that's going to look like a lot. And then there is a 45 degree line that you guys will have to utilize for this so that you are able to line up your bucky. Make sure you pull your cassette out so that you can see your line on your bucky here. And then you're going to enter still two and a half inches above the glabella like you do for the regular towns. Okay, make sure you have light above the head. And I'm already a little bit collimated for this. I'm at about eight by 12. You can collimate down to the outer margins. You cannot adjust your patient's head for any rotation or tilt because I do want you to treat this like this is your true trauma so your patient just stays still for you. Okay, so moving on from here, next we'll do an AP zero degree in the trauma. So for this, when we do a regular um, a PA zero degree, we're getting the OML perpendicular so we can utilize a zero degree tube tilt. So again, I'll have to measure Libby's OML. And again, I'm at 10 degrees caudal. So I want my CR to be parallel to that OML so it acts as a zero degree tube tilt. So for this one, I can go ahead and get my SID back up to my 40. I'm gonna utilize a 10 degree caudal tube tilt to match my OML. line up my bucky and then our central ray for the PA was at the glabella so that's where it will be for our AP trauma zero degree is right at glabella again make sure you have the top of the head you're getting the outer margins of the skull you're not able to manipulate it all for rotation or tilt ask your patient to hold still and click and then the last trauma view that we have is going to be the Codwell. So for this one, normally our patient's in PA and we're doing a 15 degree caudal tube tilt to OML. So what we have to do is find what Libby's OML is, which we just did it, I'll double check it again, make sure we're still at 10. And then I'm actually going to, since she's an AP now, I wanna be 15 degrees cephalic to whatever her OML is. So right now, she's measuring 10 degrees caudal. I teach students a little trick that if I take 10 degrees caudal and go 15 degrees cephalic to it, follow that on your angle liners, I'm gonna end up with a five degree cephalic tube tilt to be 15 degrees cephalic to her 10 degree caudal OML. So I want five degrees cephalic, I'm gonna line up my bucky. And then for this, for our regular Codwell, we're exiting at Nasion. So instead now we're just gonna be entering at Nasion. You still wanna be mid-sag. Make sure you have the top of the head. Make sure you're collimated to the outer margins of the skull. You can't manipulate, excuse me, for any rotation or tilt. So just ask your patient to hold still and click.